The adaptive immune system is elegantly choreographed to recognize and attack viruses and other pathogens that are foreign to the body. This animation will walk through how a critical component of the adaptive immune system, the T-cell receptor or TCR, alerts the immune system to mount an attack through a cascading series of responses. First, let's take a look at how a virus infects the cell. A virus injects its genome into the host cell and commandeers the cell's internal machinery. Because the virus is inside the cell, the cell membrane seems to protect the virus from detection by the host. However, the human body has a strategy to survey even the inside of its own cells, an intricate mechanism in which cells decimate some of their own contents and display a sample of these contents on the outside of their cell membranes. This display is accomplished using a protein called the human leukocyte antigen, or HLA. HLA proteins cover the surface of cells, displaying samples of the proteins those cells contain, analogous to the barcode on the outside of packages at the grocery store. As part of the human immune system, T cells are designed to identify those HLA displayed proteins that are not part of the normal self, and therefore indicate the presence of a pathogen inside the cell. T-cells circulate in the bloodstream with proteins on their surface, termed T-cell receptors. These receptors interact with or scan the HLA-displayed proteins or barcodes looking for a match. The body is equipped with an immense number of T-cells, each one displaying only one kind of T-cell receptor, with the purpose that the variation in the repertoire will allow the identification of many kinds of diverse pathogens. When a given T-cell receptor does fit well with an HLA-displayed protein, it signals the adaptive immune system to spring into action and mount an immune response. Three crucial steps occur. First, while still bound to the HLA-displayed protein, the T-cell goes through a clonal expansion, making millions of copies of itself so that more T-cells can lock onto other infected cells with the same display. Next, a subset of these T-cells change phenotype and become cytotoxic, or killer T-cells. These killer T-cells locate the virus-infected cells and puncture them, effectively killing them. Finally, a certain subset of the activated T-cells become memory T-cells, forming a standing army against future attacks from the same virus. This immunological memory is a critical component of vaccine development. 